It is well. Oh. What am I just hearing about Bob Risky again? Bob Risky you know the tire. Bob Risky, you are about to go down this time around. You are about to go to the prison this time around, Bob Risky. She, the first one that you said that you went to, according to you, you came out. You were telling us, I did not sleep in the prison for one day. I did not do this in the prison. You did not even know the color of, of, of prison, according to you. Share you the scene now, Bob Risky. Your mouth is about to land you in the problem again. Your mouth is about to take you to prison again, Bob Risky. Make you the hear me. You came out from prison. You did not allow us to rest. You say you did for VIP. You say because uh, this and that, because you know what Godfather and the controller general of the prison, according to you. And again, your mouth still land you for where our son did. Femi Falano. Ah, Bob Risky. I pray may your mouth not buy you. Ah, your mouth not go buy you, Bob Risky. Eh? You the main very dark man. They drag facts and, and his dad. Can you imagine? Anyway, my people, let's continue our gist. So, very dark man released a voice note about Bob Risky discussing with someone where Bob Risky claimed he paid 15 million naira to EFCC to drop his money laundry case. Allegedly, because Bob Risky came out to debunk the voice notes. Okay? So, about the voice notes, to me, my opinion, uh -huh, I would say that that voice note, they need to investigate it. So, why I say that is, we all know that in this era we are now, everything is possible. She will not get me now. I can't beat my chest that that voice, that person speaking in that voice notes, is Bob Risky. We can't just say it's Bob Risky. No, that is where I stand. Okay? But if you ask me that, did Bob Risky talk too much? I will say yes. He talks a lot and he brags a lot. Because all this buhara now that is going on on social media, I did mean that when Bob Risky came out from the prison in April, and he has chose to keep his mouth. This buhaha wouldn't have happened. I could remember very well when Bobriski came out from prison. His first picture that I saw, I was like, ah, ah, ah. She on to share Jari Lati prison, Lele. You know, I was saying to my people here that, ah, did this person just came out from prison or he went on holiday? You understand? Because Bobriski looks so fresh. And again, he, after he now used his mouth, confirmed it that. He didn't sleep in the prison for one day. And again, no, oh, hey, about this voice note, oh, hey, if you ask me again, I may say it can be his voice. The reason is that in my country, Nigeria, yes, I will say it with all my mouth. Everything is possible, especially when you get the money. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. When you have that money and then you know who is who at the top, you are free to do anything. Yes, I say that. Yeah. That is Nigeria for you. You can't trust anybody. The level of corruption in Nigeria, hey, hey, you know, there for anywhere in this world. Yes, I say that again. So my whole is that the only way I don't find it funny is when very dark man dragged uh, Fass and his dad. Fass is a lawyer. He's doing his job, right? Femi Falana is a son. That is his job. So tell me, any lawyer would have done what they did. Hope I'm saying something. Any lawyer. So, what is that that very dark man is dragging them? Yes. Any lawyer would have done that. I believe that any lawyer would have done that for their clients. So, what is a big deal there? Eh? I don't understand when a request for a pardon don't turn to offense. Very dark man. I don't know. And I believe that you cannot ask for pardon without having a lawyer. So, very dark man. I know you to be a very blunt person. Please. Before you put anything outside there, try, investigate them. No say this thing when I won't put outside though, not true. You understand? Because as you know, internet no they forget. 
Sometimes they're a very dark man. They talk out of track. I'm telling you this for free. Even though you have personal issue with them, no be safe of this one of Bob Risky. No, because they didn't send Bob Risky to go and bribe EFCC. Tell me, very dark man. No. I be in that voice note. Did you hear say Bob Risky said oh Frax and his dad yo oh, ask me oh that then tell me make I go pay uh, EFCC. No. So why dragging them? What they did, they are just doing their job as a lawyer and it has a fifth to it. So simple as ABC. God, Nigeria matter. In fact, I, I don't, I tire. Hmm? It is well. So very dark man, you are very free to drag Bob Risky, drag EFCC shaman, drag anything draggable, drag them. I will support you. But please, leave Fraz and his dad out of your mouth. Now, God, I they beg you. Leave them out of your mouth, okay? And face Bob Risky and he FCC. I go support you. May God bless you as you do so. So, my people, let me leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. See, I come your way next time. Stay good and be good to others. Goodbye. Um, these are people that I also respect and I believe a lot of Nigerians respect them as well. I am very, very disappointed in the agencies that are involved in this. And um, I believe that this call recording that I'm about to play, even Bob Risky will not expect it. <laughs> that is what is crazy. But all the people that will be mentioned, I don't care. You understand? I don't care. And from today, no longer respect for all of you. As you can see. I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So my Facebook, and they are paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So I'm okay. So they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy a house of 450 million in Pinock. And we are staying in a Chevron, blah, 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 blah. The shop put the money laundry shop. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that, okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said we should go and bring 15 million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. I talked to my friend, I called my friend, you know, because I can't use my account. I wanted to send money from my account, but they said I'm still under investigation. I cannot withdraw from my account. So I now called a few of my friends. You know Polanco, LLA? Mm -hmm. That Polanco, yeah, is my very good friend. So I called him. I told him. He was like, ah, no, I can't want to send the whole I can't want to send the whole He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent eight million. Me, he had only sent the same year. Yeah. I was even shocked that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, ah, I'm going to a very nice person. So, I called the Mola, the Mola in New York, he knows my friend too. Mm -hmm. The Mola sent one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. I feel the Mola sent me one million, yeah, the Mola sent me one million naira immediately, transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who set me up. So let me not start calling the, the wrong people. Do okay, you understand? Sure. Uh, so I called the people I trust. So the, the money share complete with I paid. They then I removed money laundry. They now took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that the, the old things the old things started from the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, Abby? That they gave me best female dress. Yes. That's yes, when the yes, old I things did. yeah. Yeah, that's when the old things started from, you know, jealousy, everything. Mm, envy. So hmm. we shall we shall have got to court. I shall have told them that I'm guilty that ah, maybe because we even pity me or say, Oh yeah, pay fine. I know. Or or community service. Sadly, the court sentenced me. So, you know, I was on my way to the prison, then my godfather called me and said, You will not enter that prison, don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. Uh, it's going to call the um, it's going to call the controller in my, that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja, and I'm talking to them. 
the shall talk or fire come back shall then I took me to one apart to start. I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so fast. That the um, that the Oga, the Oga said that. she should come out. The Oga said she should come and keep me here. That I mustn't um I mustn't go like enter the data, but nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. You know. So they said the guy will call him money. They wanted to give them seven like millionaire. I had to call Elila again. Because there's nobody for me to call. Elila gave me um give me one um two million, the balance of two million. So now the so I'm supposed to come out in um I'm supposed to come out in what's it called? Ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty nine. Bad guy. His father is a is a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon, the president is mm -hmm. federal that uh, my 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 case is federal. That's so that the federal can actually pardon me, that's the president, that he can do it, that I, if, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay, so the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, minister, minister of Justice in Abuja. So Minister of Justice will now send it to president to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything, you take it fast to him. That the man, the lawyer said they will collect 10 million naira for him to get yes, that. That pardon will clear my name off the record. Of the record, which is not yes, bad. That which exactly. So, you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends, so, but you know, you don't know who set you up, you know, That's and they've true. not opened my.